Uh, check it out. Wow, things always manage to shake up in the NBA. Carl Anthony Towns, one of the league's most versatile big men, is on his way to the Big Apple. And I'm not sure Knicks fans are as excited about this move. In a shocking turn of events, the Knicks have traded Keita Bates D up, Dante DiVincenzo, Julius Randle, and a 2025 first round pick for Carl Anthony Towns. Trading Towns signals a shift in strategy for Minnesota as they seem to be creating flexibility to reshape their roster. And with these new assets and draft picks, they can either continue to accumulate and build young talent for the future or use those pieces to land another star to complement Anthony Edwards. The only issue with that is I'm not sure that's going to happen as it took Minnesota a long time for them to even get back into contention, let alone one of the best teams in the West. They're just simply not a hot free agent destination and have to rely on their ability to draft to bring in talented players or being able to trade. And I just don't think they have the assets as of right now to go get another star to complement with Edwards. This right here, I believe puts Minnesota on the clock. Who knows if Ant is going to stay or if he decides to leave in the future i mean getting players like julius randall and dante divincenzo definitely will help bolster their offensive prowess but only time is going to tell if this trade was actually a good thing for the timberwolves as for the knicks carl anthony towns is exactly what the knicks needed which is a superstar level talented big man who can stretch the floor and get buckets around the perimeter his ability to score from anywhere on the court can make the Knicks a legitimate contender in the Eastern Conference. And it's actually a scary thought for the rest of the league what this team can be both offensively and defensively. In fact, at this time, at least on paper anyway, they seem to be the perfect rival to the defending champions, the Boston Celtics. But the bigger question Knicks fans got to be asking is, can this move take us from playoff hopefuls to championship contenders? I mean, on paper, adding towns potentially boosts their chances in the East, but they're still going to have their work cut out for them. Teams like the Celtics, Bucks, the 76ers, hell, even my Miami Heat are standing in their way. And don't even get me started on the Western Conference. If Carl Anthony Towns manages to stay healthy and builds chemistry with Jalen Brunson and company, I'm not going to lie, New York has a real shot at making a deep playoff run. So what does this mean for the rest of the NBA? Well, the Eastern Conference just got a whole lot more interesting. The Knicks have officially went all in and Carl Anthony Towns just might be the piece that they needed to put them over the top. I, for one, like many, I expect, just wished it didn't come at the expense of Dante DiVincenzo being involved. I would have truly loved to see the Villanova Knicks. However, whether it's making a finals push or just bringing excitement back to the garden, this is going to be yet another season to watch for all Knicks fans. So what do you guys think about this trade? Who do you guys feel won? Are the Knicks now legit contenders or not? Do you guys feel that the Timberwolves were right to trade for Julius Randle or that they're planning for something for the future? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And if you guys like this video, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.